Eric. Okay. otherwise, um, like I have favorites. You were speaking about the uh, big money interests. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To a large part, they wield their influence in Washington through funding elections. Correct. So how do you propose we change the campaign finance yeah. laws yeah. so that we have a government of the people? Love that question. So in my own campaign, I'm taking a first step. It's only a first step, but I'm not taking any corporate PAC money. I'm not taking any federal lobbyist money. And I'm not going to have an individual super PAC because I don't think we should have individual super PACs. Because all those three things do is just give more power to the people who have so much money and so much influence and so much power anyway. So that's my first step. But I believe in publicly funded elections. And I think if we can elevate this issue and the corruption at the core of everything that makes it hard for a family to get ahead and provide for their kids, if we, if we name it as the greed that it is, as the corruption that it is, people will begin to realize it's the money in politics that's at the root of the, of the darkness and corruption. And so I think we can create a national call of action to ask people to, to support candidates that support publicly funded elections. But you need to make it a hallmark of your presidency, a hallmark of your platform. And if you don't, you're never going to elevate it high enough to get people to really take sides and get it done. You have to create that cacophony of, of, of Groups who are saying this is the one thing that needs to be done, and I'm committed to it. I think it is so important.